National Championship. The Florida Gators have won the Southeastern Conference Championship. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo, proud partner of the Florida Gators. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Gator Zone alongside Kyle Crooks. Jeff Cardozo here with you and we are where it all happens in Exact Tech Arena. It's the Tom and Jane Johnson family atrium. It's the main entrance where you walk in, you see a whole bunch of fantastic University of Florida sports. Kyle gets to broadcast the majority of those, as do I, but you get to witness how great these student athletes are and you've gotten to witness Allie Gregory for the last four years. Came all the way down from Louisville, Kentucky and guess what? Mary Wise is happy to have her. Yeah, such a big presence on the defensive side for this Florida team. Just diving all over the place. <laughs> First year at the libero position for the Florida Gators volleyball team. Katie Leahy has more on her impact to the program. Growing up in Louisville, Kentucky, Allie was surrounded by elite programs from a young age. When starting her career at 12 years old, it was the University of Florida that caught her eye. Well, my mom went to Florida State, so naturally, whenever I was about 12 years old, I started asking for Florida Gators gear just to kind of push her buttons a little bit. And I've been telling my mom that I wanted to play volleyball for UF since I was 12 years old and started playing volleyball. So, and I watched. Florida actually play Kentucky uh, at Memorial Coliseum and that's when I completely fell in love with the program. So ever since that match, I watched Mary coaching her team so passionately that year. I think it was like 2013 and that's when I knew that I wanted to be a part of the Gators program. It was almost mind blowing. Like I didn't believe it at first whenever my, um, my mom actually handed me a Florida Gator card that basically said like, this is, this starts your recruiting process with Florida. I just didn't believe it. I was speechless for a while. I was 15 years old and it just meant the world to me. So the fact that I worked through so much adversity in club ball and got where I am today is really special to me. This adversity meant switching to the libero position just one year before committing to Florida. But after getting to the collegiate level and learning under top athletes and coaches, Gregory has grown into the athlete she is now. I think being a newish libero at this level, I was just ready to soak in everything I could learn. I had Caroline Knope, who was the um, libero here, and I got to learn under her, and she taught me so much, and how to see the game differently, how to see the game at the elite level. So just to learn under her, I picked up on the game so much faster. I really give Greg's a lot of credit. She became a student of the game, understood how important seeing the game to be a step ahead is, and, and she's a player who understands her weaknesses, but tries to grow them. All three of the coaches have just been so helpful with teaching me new skills and allowing me to fail and fail big in the gym and still let me have such a big role on the court. I've been really appreciative of it. Getting to wear the libero jersey as a junior and senior as Gregory did offers a level of growth that many in this position are not always given. Being in the libero jersey my junior year and now on into my senior year, it just made me realize how selfless you have to be. You have to think about everything else that's going on around you and constantly helping your teammates and I can't be successful in the libero jersey unless I am helping my teammates become more successful. I think just her positivity has been a huge impact on my life, especially in volleyball. She always comes in with a smile, always ready to work hard, and even if she's having a bad day, she turns it around white when it comes to practice, and that has been a huge thing for me to learn, and it's been great to watch her. She just brings a certain level of leadership in respect and authenticity that our team wants to play for. Being a leader is a natural role for Allie, but as her time as a Gator comes to a close, she's realizing that role is even more important. Well, it's just so weird because I used to have like Carly Snyder tell me, enjoy your time here because you only have so much of it. And I was a freshman or a sophomore, so I'd just be like, yeah, yeah, plenty of time. But now that I'm a senior, I get like where Carly was coming from. I'm constantly telling the sophomores or the juniors on the team to love every minute that you have playing here and it's just, I don't even believe it. As Allie finishes her time at the University of Florida, she's able to see that it is not just her skill that she will take away from this program. Being a part of this program, you learn so much that will help you on into life. And one of my favorite things that I've learned being in this program is that failing is the key to success. You cannot 
get where you want to go or reach your goals without failing first and finally realizing that I can ask for help or I can fail big and it's still okay is something that I'm going to take away from this program for forever. Allie has definitely left her mark on an elite program during her time as a Gator. For Gator Zone, I'm Katie Leahy. Thanks, Katie. And for the Florida men's basketball team, Jeff, it's so much more than just producing on the court. It's reaching out in the community and doing other things to impact others. There's one new addition to the Florida Gators men's basketball team, very special one, that's Eli. Yeah, through team impact, and this is what's great because we see all these student athletes on the court doing their thing, but it's behind the scenes that we don't get to see, but that's what we want to show you now because Eli has been going through treatments, now had to do it for a second time, but he's got a whole team behind him helping him out. The college basketball world is abuzz with the new additions to head coach Mike White's squad. But recently, the Gators added another new teammate to round out their roster, 13-year-old Elijah Perbtani. Welcome a new member to the Gator family, the Gator basketball program. Eli, you embody what it means to be a Gator. We're so excited to sign you, have you a part of Gator family and our Gator basketball program. We look forward to a wonderful season together. What do you think? I like yes? that. I like that. You on board? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Elijah is like most 13 year olds. He loves basketball, Fortnite, and joking around. But he might just be the toughest player the Gators have. Elijah relapsed in April. Um, he had leukemia when he was little, but it's a little different now since he's 13. You know, he's has to be out of school, so and he has to be homeschooled, and I think it's really rough for him. You know, 13 years old, school, sports are his life. When the team learned about Elijah's battle, they knew they wanted to make his adoption extra special. So they hatched up a plan to give him the surprise of a lifetime. Me and the squad are going to visit young Elijah today, um, the newest member of the basketball team. Um, he's battling leukemia, and we're going to make his day. Let's arrive to Elijah's house. We're about to walk in and surprise our new teammate. We got a new member of the team, y'all. Hey, Coach White. <laughs> What's up, Elijah? What's up? <laughs> Trey Mann's out there on the recruit trail looking for players I found. Thank you. All right, buddy. Take care. You too. Elijah fits right in with his new teammates, and the team is thrilled to have him on board. This is coming from me and the team. Um, welcome to the family. We're excited to have you. You and your family join our family. We look forward to the journey. We look forward to the, the fun times and the, the memories we're going to have. And we're just here with you along with your journey as you are with us. So we look forward to, forward to having this fun time with you. The Gators partnered with Team Impact to make Elijah's basketball dream a reality. Team Impact works across the country to partner college teams with kids battling serious illness in an effort to bring some hope to those who really need it. And what we find is that kids who participate in our program have better health outcomes because they are feeling supported, less isolated, less anxious. And for student athletes, it just gives them a different layer of what the student athlete experience can be. That hope made an instant impact for Elijah when he found out he was going to be part of the team. Having the team now, like, he is smiling, he's trying to do basketball every day, you know, so it's just, it's been amazing. I feel like it's, it's just going to be a, you know, a better motivator for him um, to get up and do his homework and go outside and go to physical therapy, you know, and knowing that those hard times are not forever, he has something to look forward to within these guys. And they're just, they're, you know, they're kind of kids themselves with him, so it's, it's, even, it's even more adorable <laughs> that they get to hang out. With Elijah on board, the Gators are motivated more than ever to make this season special. One, two, three. Go For Gator Zone, I'm Joe Prozac. Joe, thank you, and a big thanks to all the student athletes who are a part of that Goodwill program. Reach out or involved in the community, helping people, and the impact on uh, those lives are, are truly special. And Jeff, it's time to take a break, and when we return, we'll take a look at a first year Gator making a big impact. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo, proud partner of the Florida Gators, and by Gatorade Thirst Quencher, the proven sports fuel. 
We're walking you back to Gator Zone, and we are in front of one of the most photographed spots on campus, right across the street from the swamp, Emerson Alumni Hall, where, of course, all us Gators are uh, enjoying everything the Alumni Association has to offer. But our next story is about someone that is eventually going to be one, but an alum of Drexel University. Yeah, didn't begin as a student athlete here in Gainesville, alum of another school in Drexel, Vanessa Cara, somebody who has undergone so much adversity in her career. Three different ACL tears, but she's gotten here to Florida. She's made a big impact. Our very own Shelby Granath has more. Vanessa Cara always dreamed of playing Division I soccer, and she's now the leading goal scorer for the Florida Gators in 2019 but her journey here had many ups and downs. I had um, pretty good interest after, I guess, during my sophomore year, late my sophomore year, but then I got, I tore my second ACL and pretty much every school back, backed away from me then. Nobody wanted to give me an offer because they thought I was too injury prone and couldn't acclimate to the physicality of college soccer. Four months post-surgery, Kara finally got the call she was waiting for. Drexel University wanted to take a chance on her. I just went into my freshman year at Drexel with no expectations. I was so happy to be there and I just had this joy for the game. So like everything from there on just felt extra. So I just tried to embrace it all. A three-time All-Colonial Athletic Association selection and the number two all-time goal scorer at Drexel. Carol was enjoying all the success until adversity struck again. Doing well at Drexel, it was my junior year, and you know we were saying it was like our year to win the CAA finally. And we were flying high, going late in the conference, and then I tore yeah, my ACL for the third time with like three games left of the season. Honestly, like I didn't really think about quitting or it stopping. It's just something I've, I loved so much. And you know, it was the third one, but I just thought that this was an amazing opportunity to become an even better version of myself and a better player. After redshirting her senior year, Kara had the opportunity to use her last year of eligibility and play at a different school as a graduate transfer. So I knew Becky Burley, um, or like her philosophies at least, and I've actually brought a couple of her like person over player like mentalities back to Drexel. So when she expressed interest in me, that a coach that valued the same things I value, it just I couldn't walk away from it. Into the box, right to the box, moving up field, looking for a cross. Inside Kara at the six takes a shot and a goal! Vanessa Kara, another goal of the 2019 campaign. You ask her about her talent, Heather, she'll just say, I'm so lucky and privileged to put this jersey on every day in my final year of college eligibility to say I'm a Florida Gator. That, that's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, what a difference she has made for this Florida team this year kind of like surreal for me. It's like hard for me to even process that I've been actually performing well because it's what I dreamed of, but for it to actually happen, it's, I feel like rare for those things to happen for you. So it's just, it's just been amazing. Playing at this level on this stage has always been a dream of Vanessa's and she never let any setbacks get in between her and her goals. I mean, it's just, it's just, I can't even really put it into words. It's just everything I've worked for since I was like five, like that five-year-old kid wanted to go to a big school and play an NCAA tournament. And the fact that I have a chance to do that is just, I'm just super grateful for this opportunity. For Gator Zone, I'm Shelby Granath. Well, thanks Shelby. And you know, Jeff, the golf course is right down the road. We have a golf story coming up. It is? Yeah. Well, Jeff is taking off. I guess we'll follow him. more Gator Zone next. Gator Zone is brought to you by Wells Fargo, proud partner of the Florida Gators and by Gatorade Thirst Quencher, the proven sports fuel. You got a putter in your hand, you got us these, so I'm sure you can putt pretty well. I was a captain in my high school golf team. Yeah, a little unknown fact about me, but well, somebody who's a great golfer mm -hmm. here at the women's golf team, Addie Baggerly in her junior season, all SEC freshman, she's made a big impact. Yeah, she certainly has, and that women's golf team is absolutely tremendous. Lots of expectations for them, and Addie is a big reason why. Junior Addie Baggerly was born and raised in Gainesville. When she was younger, she played a few other sports, but golf is what really stuck with her. Growing up, my dad would actually bring me here to Bostick to practice and play a little. Playing on Bostick virtually her entire life, Baggerly knows every nook and cranny it has to offer. This knowledge played a huge factor in her successful freshman campaign with the Gators, where she was named to the SEC All-Freshman Team. 
I think Addie, um, because she is so passionate about being here and she's very competitive, I think those are the things that really rub off on her teammates um, and, and kind of inspire those around her. Um, you know, she wants to beat people when she goes out there and, and sometimes that means even her teammates, but I think that's good. That's a healthy environment. That's what we want at the University of Florida. I think that's what's going to make our team, um, you know, really successful. And so she does, does a good job in, an, in a healthy way of using that to inspire those around her. Despite the honors Addie received her first year playing for the Gators, continuing to improve was important to her. Her sophomore season, Baggerly won her first collegiate title at the All-State Sugar Bowl. Although she took the time to celebrate, she believed that turning the page and moving her focus to the rest of the season was her priority. I think that is a real key to her maturity level. Um, you know, I think kind of knowing that you can do that and wow, that was really fun and exciting, but we have more golf left to play and, and there was certainly more that that she wanted to accomplish that year. And so she did a good job of that, um, kind of using the positives from the week, but then, you know, turning her focus to what we wanted to do the rest of the year. And I see her in that same place um, going into her junior season. After winning her first collegiate title, managing the expectations was something that ultimately helped Baggerly mature as a leader for the team. Coming off a sophomore season, in which she competed in every tournament but one, Baggerly understands the process and the goals that lie ahead. This year, you know, is just to kind of focus on the process of my own game and how that will eventually help out the team. I feel like golf is such an individual sport and we are fortunate enough to play it in a team environment to where if we focus on ourselves in the long run, it'll definitely help out the team. We're just really impressed with the progress she's made in the last couple years. On the golf course for sure, I think her talent made her game more diversified, which has led to lower scores, but really her growth off the golf course I think is what is going to um, help her shoot lower numbers this year. Baggerly's work ethic and commitment to her team was on full display at the Glass City Invitational. She moved up 33 spots in the third round to shoot a career-low 67 to ensure Gator victory. Addie Baggerly, a Gator through and through. For Gator Zone, I'm Maddie Camparisi. All right, great stuff there by Madison, and uh, always great to be on the golf course, as we talked about. But not only some of the best golfers in the country get to step on these grounds, some uh, cross-country runners as well. And I, as a pitcher, hated running. Like, I don't know how you <laughs> run for fun. That's just absolutely obnoxious, but you have no problem doing that or lifting weights or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I'm in shape, but not as good a shape as some of our cross-country athletes. And here, too, for Coach Zelensky, he's yep. done wonders for this program. And here's a look at what exactly he has done. Meet Coach Chris Zielinski, assistant coach for distance here at the University of Florida. Prior to donning the orange and blue, Zielinski was a distance runner himself, a great distance runner. During his time at Wisconsin from 2003 to 2007, Zielinski was a five-time NCAA champion and a 14-time All-American. And he also helped the Badgers to the 2005 NCAA Cross Country Championship and the 2007 NCAA Indoor Championship. So, what do you do after your championship career is over? You coach at a championship program, like Florida. There's no better job in the country. Uh, you know, you work for a guy like Coach Holloway at a place like University of Florida where excellence isn't expected. It, you know, it, it's, it's what everyone does and strives for. And it's not necessarily a pressure. It's you, you join the party, uh, and, and it's, it's fun to join this party. Since joining the Gators in 2017, Zelensky has led the Gators to two of their most impressive distance seasons in recent history. Florida's women ran their way into second place at last year's SEC championship, and they don't see any signs of stopping anytime soon. For Zelensky, winning isn't a goal, but an expectation. Luckily for his team, he knows what it takes to do just that. He's been through it just like just like me and just like everybody else on the team. And he knows how to win and get championships, so that's helpful because you know that what he's giving to you is, is going to make you successful. When it comes to coaching, Zelensky has built a system of accountability and trust among his athletes. The former American record holder credits this upfront approach to a special family member. My grandfather actually was the one who said, uh, "There's a, there's a thin line between fear and respect." So I wanted to kind of hold people accountable, uh, be there for them, supporting them. Let's just together, work together. You see people struggling, you hold them up and you got it. 
SEC Cross Country Women's Runner of the Year, Jessica Pasco, has bought into Zelensky's approach to success. Coach Zelensky, he's a really great coach. Over the past few years, we've been able to develop like a stronger relationship where I can fully trust in him and know that he has my best interests at heart and just know that uh, I'm more than just a runner, I'm a person and I'm going to have my ups and downs but at the end of the day, you know, he's there for us, whatever we need. During his time here at Florida, the Orange and Blue have brought home three SEC championships. Sure, the trophies and recognition have proven his methods work, but for Selinski, it's his lasting effect on his athletes that he enjoys the most. I always said I wanted to make an impact on the running world, whether it was through, through my legs or someone else's, and so I'm kind of on the latter stage of, of that statement. And when, when the kids, when that light bulb, or when that moment when they run a PR or have that breakthrough, like that's those special moments that, that really make what we do worth it. With a coach like Chris Zelinski and a championship mentality, the orange and blue is on its way to set the bar even higher. For Gator Zone, I'm Summerlin Murray. Jeff, we got these putters, we got these golf balls. Now it's time for a little putter challenge. And isn't uh, it? he had a lot of <laughs> smack talking, uh, saying he's a captain of his high school golf team. We'll see if he's legit right after this. Let's see what you got. It's a true battle, Jeff. Let's do it. Line it up. Concentration. Nice and easy. Jeff, <laughs> that is what you call a top play, and we have more coming up. Today's top plays are brought to you by Nike. That accounted for two of Tennessee's five points so far. The serve, Gregory Montserrat, right side. Kramer got it down for the kill. Don't get by Tennessee in the back row easily. They'll send left side to Feltz, approaches, and she's rejected. The tape there, all the sideline gets it. Montserrat backs at Carlton, brings the hammer, and this match is over. The Gators take the fourth set, 25 to 17. Ahead here, Rose in behind. Fulfilling all that promise. One nothing Florida. So tremendous top plays from our student athletes here at Florida. Yet again, top play by Kyle. Congratulations on uh, winning the putt off, and that's going to do it. So always sad because this was a, a fun show today. Yeah, absolutely, Jeff. And you can continue to follow your Gators on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Yeah, make sure you do it and make sure you watch each and every Wednesday here on Gator Zone. My partner today, Kyle Crooks. I am Jeff Cardozo. Great work again by Gareth Gutierrez, our cameraman, and go Gators.